supplied by the health food movement for our ignorance of nutrition. But until a few generations ago, all food was organic, so it's kind of ironic that what we now call conventional food really isn't very conventional for our species. By eating organic, we can reduce our exposure to pesticides, but it remains unclear whether such a reduction in exposure is clinically relevant. I talked about some of the test tube studies comparing health-related properties of organic versus conventional foods, higher antioxidative and anti-mutagenic activity, as well as better inhibition of cancer cell proliferation. But in terms of studies on actual people rather than petri dishes, there isn't much out there. Why can't you just compare the health of those that buy organic to those that don't? Organic consumers do report being significantly healthier than conventional consumers, but organic consumers also tend to eat more plant foods in general, and less soda and alcohol, processed meat or milk, and just eat healthier in general, so no wonder they feel so much better. Therefore, there is an urgent need for interventional trials, or studies following cohorts of people eating organic over time, like this one, the Million Women study in the UK, uh, the first to examine the association between the consumption of organic food and subsequent risk of cancer. The only significant risk reduction they found, though, was for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is consistent with data showing a higher risk of developing lymphoma in those who have higher levels of pesticides stored in their butt fat, uh, which they only looked at because uh, studies on farm workers found uh, higher rates of lymphoma. Parental farm worker exposure is also associated with a birth defect of the penis called hypospadias. And so researchers decided to see if moms who failed to choose organic were at increased risk. And indeed, they found the frequent consumption of conventional high-fat dairy products was associated with about double the odds of the birth defect. Now this could just be because those that choose organic have other healthy related behaviors, or it could be that high-fat foods, like dairy products, bioamplify the fat-soluble toxicants in our environment. There are two other general population studies that have raised concerns. One uh, found about a 50 to 70% increase in the odds of ADHD among children with pesticide levels in their urine common among U.S. children. And another that found triple the odds of testicular cancer among men with higher levels of organochlorine pesticides in their blood, 90% of which uh, comes from meat, uh, fish, and dairy. Uh, which may help explain rising testicular cancer rates in many Western countries since World War II. What about interventional trials? All we have in the medical literature so far are studies like this, showing organically grown foods provides health benefits to fruit flies. Raised on diets of conventional versus organic produce, then subjected to a variety of tests designed to assess overall fly health. And what do you know? Flies raised on diets made from organically grown produce lived longer. Hmm, insects eating insecticides don't do as well. Not exactly much of a breakthrough.